Alright y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring y'all this video real quick. Um, so yeah, for those that are wondering what's going on with the Atom Quest mod pack, um, I'm just gonna give y'all an update on it, and this will be going up on my Seem Crazy Gaming channel, so, um, yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go into detail what's going on with it, so, it's done, it's finished, I got all the mods put in there. Um, but I was trying to upload it to a website called Curse Forge, and Curse Forge is a Minecraft launcher, a modded Minecraft launcher, along with, you know, they're like a whole website where people can create their mods, they can upload it to, you know, um, Curse Forge, this website I'm telling you all about. Um, but yeah, basically, I tried to upload my mod pack to, uh, Curse Forge, because Curse Forge has a bunch of mod packs on there too. And I was trying to add mine on there, that way people can actually, you know, view it and install it and whatever, you know. Um, but when I tried to upload it to Curse Forge, Curse Forge rejected my fucking mod files, and I don't know why they didn't give me an extensive detail on it. So I don't know why they're doing it. I don't know why they kept rejecting it over and over again. I've literally, um, you know, re-uploaded it like fucking five times. You know, maybe twenty times. I don't know. It, I I lost count. But yeah, I kept uploading it. I kept uploading it and they kept you know denying it denying it denying it so i was like okay fuck it i went ahead and basically created a media fire link which i don't know if y'all know what media fire is um it's basically a it's kind of like google drive almost but you can upload you know files to it and you know you could you know set set links to you know public or private or whatever you know it's basically like google drive but it's way different it's way different i think it's a little bit better than google drive but that might be you know me personally but you know some people like google drive better but i like media fire better but you know um but yeah anyway so basically i created a link to where people can download the mod pack now because um you know i'm basically finished with it i mean it does have a little bit of bugs on it but um, I'll fix those as time goes by, but, um, as far as I'm concerned right now, this mod pack is ready to go, it's ready for people to start playing it, so, if you want to play the mod pack, go ahead and check the description down here, I'll be putting a link to it, so that way y'all can check and download it, um, also I'll be putting in the description as well, a whole fucking set of how to install the, uh, the mod pack, cause I don't know if people know how to install Minecraft mod packs, but basically, what you do is you get WinRAR, or, or anything that can, uh, extract R RAR files, you know, and I don't know if y'all know what RAR files are, but those are compressed files, and that's how I uploaded it to, uh, Media Fires, I compressed the files down, so, basically, you take that, you take, you know, a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR, you un, you know, you know, you uncompress it basically, and then uh, you take the mod and the config files. You you copy both of those to your dot Minecraft directory, which you do by you know going into your search and typing percent app data, you know. And I I think that might work for Windows 11 users, but I'm I'm a I'm a Windows 11 user, so it works for me. Um, it might work for you know everybody else that's a Windows 11 user, but yeah. Um. But yeah, you can basically do that on any Windows, from my knowledge, you know. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check and uh, take those, both of those folders, the config and the mod file, and uh, you know folders, and you basically put those in your Minecraft directory, and then uh, you install Forge. And in order to install Forge, you basically have to go to the Forge website, or you can just you know um, find it. You'll, you'll find it. You'll find it. Forge is not that hard to find, you know. Um, but yeah, you get Forge, you know, for one point. 1.12.2 it cannot be any any lower or any higher it has to be 1.12.2 or else it won't work and uh so yeah anyway you get forge install that shit and then you will be ready you'll be golden so then you just hit play um and if you do encounter any crashes or anything at the beginning um, check to see how much RAM you have, because if you don't have, you know, at least over 16 or 32 gigs of RAM like I do, because that's how much I got in my, in my PC, um, then it probably won't work, because you have to have at least, you have to dedicate at least a good amount of RAM to Minecraft. You have to at least dedicate, for me, I dedicate around 6 gigs, or either 6 or 8 gigs, depending on how big the mod pack is, and, you know, you know, however much you have to dedicate to enhance the performance on it. So, um, but yeah, I'd recommend using a computer that has over 16 gigs or 32 gigs of RAM, um, or, or higher. It don't really matter. As long as you got higher RAM, it's going to be better off for you. But yeah, that, that's what I'd recommend. But yeah, anyway, 
um that's all i wanted to say um so yeah if you guys want to start playing atom quest and i'm pretty soon i'm gonna be doing a series on atom quest as well my own mod pack because you know it's my baby and i want to kind of showcase it off you know so um yeah i'll be doing a series on it very soon but yeah if you guys want to start you know kind of fucking around on it and kind of experimenting with it or whatever um you guys can go ahead and download it now for yourselves and try it out um, but yeah, I don't know why Curse Forge was doing this shit to the mod pack. Um, I'm gonna still try to get it up on Curse Forge, but I don't know. I I, I don't know. I'm I, I I feel like I'm shit out of luck there, so I'm not. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep trying it though. I'm gonna keep trying to get it up on Curse Forge, but I don't know what the fuck is going on with Curse Forge. But they be they be low key hating on new mob on new Minecraft mod packs, you know, especially ones I've created. I, I, I don't know, dude. Fucking Curse Forge is weird. I don't know why they fucking deny it. It's like, uh, it's a fucking Minecraft mod pack. What is there to deny? I get if I was trying to upload a fucking video or something, because, you know, video file, they won't, they won't accept video files, but, you know, um, but a, a Minecraft mod pack, you're really trying to, uh, deny me putting access to that on your launcher. Like, that's kind of weird. I find that kind of weird. But yeah, anyway, um, I'll try to keep, I'll try to keep, you know, bugging Curse Forge about it. I'm going to try to talk to one of the uh, higher ups probably on there, maybe, I don't know, or somebody that runs Curse Forge and see what's going on with it, because I don't know why they denied it, because it's a Minecraft mod pack. It's not like a fucking virus or anything. I don't know why they're treating it like a fucking virus, but it shouldn't be this hard to, to basically put Minecraft mod packs, especially new ones, onto Curse Forge without, you know, being denied, like, fucking... 100 times, 20 times, whatever, however many times, you know, like, this is fucking bullshit, this is fucking bullshit, so, that's why I said fuck them, and I uploaded it to Mediafire, so now, if you guys want to check it out, like I said, link in the description, and instructions will be below, so yeah, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all later.